Okay, you're an artist and I am assuming you do not know the basic of uh, copyright. So in this video, we're going to talk about copyright basic for artists. Let's start. Hi, my name is Martis. I make daily video about business, legal, and intellectual property. What is intellectual property? Think about copyright, trademark, and patent. If you have questions about those things, feel free to contact me. If you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe. Let's start. Thing is, when you're an artist, you create things. And it can be a lot of things, but it depends what you create. It can be music, it can be art, whatever you want. But the thing is, when you create something, you have copyright on it. The question is, when do you have copyright on it? And what are your rights? What can you do with it? What is it, by the way? So let's go to the drawing board. We're going to talk about the ABC formula. We're going to talk about um, copyright. The thing is, copyright in every country is different, but technically it's the same. The ABC formula applies for every copyright. It's a system, it's a method that you can use in order to determine your, um, your rights or someone else. So your position, but the rules about copyright, every country has different rules. So you need to look for the rules in your country. But what you need to understand is most of the time, the rules are the same. It's not like another country do it completely different. It's just that some minor different, there are some minor difference. You need to look at the law in your country. So I'm going to take the U.S. as an um, example. So I'm also using the U.S. Um, rules. And the document that you download, where you find examples and explanation about copyright, is all based on the U.S. law. If you want to know about other country, feel free to contact me. I will look into it and I'll tell you what you need to read and what the um, options are and what the options are not. It's that simple. So, okay. The thing is what we need to know. Give me a second. Yeah, the thing is that you need to know is the ABC formula. So let's go to the drawing board. Yeah, let's talk about the ABC formula. The ABC formula um, exists of uh, three things. So we have A, we have B, and we have C. What you need to understand is A is the right itself. B, if you create something, you have copyright on it. So that's the right itself. B is you as the person that creates something has that right. So it can be the copyright owner, but it can also be a company. So it can be a person, but also can be a company. For example, if you have a company and you create something for someone, then the company has the copyright on it. And the copyright itself is A. C is another person that wants to use your right, or it's another person that uses your right without permission. If they want to use your right, you can give them permission. That's what you call a license. And if they use it without permission, you can sue them. You can claim your copyright. Yeah. So C can be a person. It can be a person that does that, but a person use your um, copyright, or it can be in a company that use your copyright. For example, if you create something and uh, they use it in their on their website or anything if they use them your music on their website or any day of in whatever you want yeah? but it can be a person of a copyright here but it can be a person of a company here also it can be a person of company but here you have to write so we have three things what you need to understand is a can be limited by the law so this is your right the law can say, hey, you have copyright, but in this situation, you don't have copyright. For example, citation, for example, uh, if someone use your work for newsworthy, it can be exception in some country. I do not know if it's in every country like that, but um, that's an exception. And uh, exception is also, for example, when students use the work for school uh, in order for presentation, for education, it can be a an uh, exception for uh, for copyright so watch out that so it can be limited by law and when you are B you have some exclusive right 
scripts and write mean there are things that you only you can do. You will see that soon in the document. I wanted to show you. But first thing is first, we need to figure out what are the requirements of copyright and what can you do with it. So we're going to look at the document and then uh, we're going to discuss some things about it. So let's go to the document. This is document copyright basic. You can download it. I will put the link in the description so you can download it. But we need to know what is copyright. So if you look at it, you see copyright is a form of protection provided by the law of the United States to the authors of original works of authorship that are fixed in tangible forms of expression. An original work of authorship is a work that is independently created by a human author and possesses at least some minimal degree of creativity. Now is the requirement. A work is fixed. So a work needs to be fixed when it's captured either by under the authority of an author in a sufficiently permanent medium such that the work can be perceived, reproduced or commercial, communicate for more than a short time. So these are the requirements for, yeah, for having a um, copyright. What you need, what most people, let's say, don't understand, uh, most beginners don't understand is copyright protection in the United States exists exists automatically. You do not need to register it automatically from the moment the original work of authorship is fixed. So as soon as, soon as you meet the requirement, you have copyright on it. You do not need to register in order to have copyrighted. And most people don't understand that. People think just like other intellectual property, you need to register in order to get them a right. That's not true in this case. Copyright, as soon as you meet the requirements, you have a copyright on it. So. If you look at copyright, okay, you have copyright. What is protected? If you're an artist, you make music, the music is protected. If you make soundtracks, the soundtrack is protected. If you make arts, the art is protected. It's that simple. Here you find a list. Hey, it can be anything. Just remember, this is a categories list, and this is not a limited category list. There, you can put a lot of things on it. You can see it here. These categories should be used broadly for the purpose of registering your work so there can be other things you can put into it if you're in a different country you will also so get something like this you need to figure out what is protected and what is not protected we'll discuss this so what's not protected so what is protected and what is copyright we we'll discuss that part okay um yes you know what copyright is and you're a copyright owner what can you do with it yeah simple you have exclusive right you can read it here you you can decide what will happen with that um with the thing that you create or not are you going to give license or not are you going to publish it or whatever you want you can do it and here you can read all your rights i'm not going to discuss all those things you can read this for yourself it's simple it's explain what you can do with it if you have a music, you're allowed to discuss. I'm going to publish it on Spotify. I'm going to publish it on YouTube. I'm going to give people license or not. You have those exclusive rights. Yeah. Sometimes there are things that are not protected. For example, your idea of uh, systems. Those things are not protected. I see a lot of people, they have big ideas. But the idea is not important because it's not protected. But the execution, if you put it on paper, that is protected. You understand what I mean? So you have an idea or oh, creating flying boards. That's not protected. What is protected is the way how you create the flying board. If you put it on paper, you register. You do not need to register, but if you register, you have proof that you're the first one, then that is protected, the copyright. Yeah. So um, here you can read what's not protected. Who can claim for copyright? Don't forget, you are the owner. You are creating music or a uh, statue or whatever you want you are the copyright holder you can claim copyright if you create it together with someone both of you can claim copyright if you create something with someone make sure you have an agreement between each other because if you don't have that you can create pro problems for each other or you can create a problem for someone else so my tip to you is create an agreement in another video i will explain this 
how you can do that and how you can make it easy. So if you have two artists and you create together a uh, music video or music, make sure you have agreement between each other. Because I see a lot sometimes that artists want to do this and other artists don't, doesn't want to do that. And then you have a problem and they don't have an agreement with each other. And making an agreement is simple. And when you do that, you know what you can expect from someone and what you cannot expect from someone. So watch out for that. And then we're going to discuss all those things. I'm not going to discuss all those things here in this document. You can read it for yourself. And if you have a question about it, you can also ask me. So let's do a recap. We have the ABC formula. So we have A, B, and C. A is the work itself. B, if you create the work or someone else created the work, they are the copyright owner. So it's, uh, they can be a person, they can also be a company. C is the third person that wants to use the work or use it without permission. It can be a person, but it can also be a company. Yeah. And um, you need to figure out what you can do or not, and you need to figure out your position. Yeah. So if you're an artist, you create music, music is this, you're the copyright holder. If someone wants to use the music or you want to give license to a um, label company, then the label company is C. If someone wants to use your music, the person who wants to use your music is also C. Yeah? If they use it without your permission, they are C and you can sooner. When you determine your position, you also know what you can do. Just remember, this is a right A. The law can limit your right. I give you for example that the law can limit your right when, you're, when a student uses your work for their school project or for presentation or something. But you need to figure out in which country and with which copyright are you dealing with. Because if you do not know that, it can be a problem. So that's the thing. In the future, I will make a video how you can determine which, comp um, which copyright law apply for your situation. And if you have questions about this video or anything related to this video, feel free to contact me. If you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.